Hello everyone. In this lecture, we will discuss about the operator precedence parsing. And the operator precedence parsing is defined especially for the operator grammars. These are the specialized grammars and not for uh, the operator precedence parsing cannot be performed from all types of the grammar. It can only be performed for the operator grammars. So what are the operator grammars? Let's say there is a production of kind E produces E plus E. Now in this production, you can see that there are two non-terminals and in between two non-terminals, there is a terminal symbol. So plus is a terminal symbol. So operator is actually the terminal symbol, which is assigned in between the two non-terminal symbols. So this is the acceptable grammar production. In case you have something like E produces EE. -E. So this is not an acceptable production because the two terminal, uh, two non-terminal symbols are appearing simultaneously or the two non-terminal symbols are appearing uh, one after the other. So this is actually not the accept acceptable production. If we have a production of kind E produces epsilon, so this is also not an acceptable format. So only acceptable format is this, this kind. Yes, there are some others, but definitely the production in which two non-terminal symbols appears together or there is epsilon production, they cannot be included in the operator grammar or if they are included in a kind of the grammar or in the given grammar, the given grammar cannot be operator grammar. Okay, let's take an example E produces E plus E. Then E produces E star E. Then E produces ID. So here you can see that <clears throat> in this in, in the first production, these are the non-terminals and there is a terminal in between. These are the non-terminal and there is a terminal in between. And for this particular production, there is only a terminal. So this grammar is actually an operator grammar. So this is satisfying the rule that if there are two non-terminals, then in between them, there should be a terminal symbol. Okay. And this production says that there is only terminal. So only terminals are acceptable. Even if there are two terminals appearing together, for example, ID1, E produces ID1 and ID2, this is also acceptable. Okay. If we have a kind of the production in which we have E produces E, A, B. So this is also an acceptable production because A and B are the terminal and this is the non-terminal. So the, there are only two restrictions for the operator grammars that if a grammar has simultaneously two non-terminal symbols, this cannot be an operator grammar and the operator grammar should not have an epsilon production. Okay. Now suppose uh, we have an example given, which is not an operator grammar, but it can be converted to the operator grammar. For example, this one. So E produces E, A, E. There are three uh, non-terminal symbols appearing simultaneously. So this is not an operator grammar, but because of the production E produces ID and A produces plus and uh, multiplication. These are acceptable productions. So this can be converted to the operator grammar. Like you put A produces plus first here. Okay. And then you put E produces multiplication sign here. Okay. And then you write E produces ID, which was a separate production here. So now this grammar has become the operator grammar. If you want to include this A produces plus or multiplication. So this grammar has become the operator grammar now. Let's take another example. Let's say we have S produces S A S oblique A and A produces B S B oblique B. So now you can see that uh, uh, because of the production S produces A, A produces small b capital S small b or A produces B, there is no problem. But the problem is with the S produces S A S because three non-terminal symbols are appearing simultaneously. So we can convert this grammar also to the uh, operator grammar. So S produces in place of A, you first write B S B. So B S B and another S will be like this only. And then next time you put A produces B. So S produces S in the place of A, you're writing small b. Another production S produces A remains as such. 
and A produces B S B or B is S H. Now you can see that non-terminal, non-terminal, non-terminal. So in, in between every non-terminal there is a terminal. In between every non-two terminals we have a terminal symbol. In between two non-terminal symbols we have a terminal. This is only a terminal symbol. A produces B capital S P. It be in in between two non-term uh, terminal symbols we have a terminal. So that is acceptable. And A produces B. B is the terminal symbol. So there is no problem with this one. So this is the uh, uh, conversion of the non-operator uh, grammars to the operator grammar in case it is possible to. So this uh, this is this is about the operator grammar. In the next lectures, we will see that uh, how to uh, do the operator precedence parsing. Thank you.